so we're back herping out here in Tennessee. However, this time it's a little bit different. We're only here for a couple of days because we're actually herping on our very own property. So this weekend we've moved Mike and Dana into their forever home and we're really excited because that means we're probably gonna get a lot more time out here in, in Tennessee to do some herping. So as you can see, Michael and Matt, they're already pretty far ahead of us. So we're eager to get going and we're gonna go catch up. So join us for hopefully a lot more salamanders and creatures that we can find out here in Tennessee. All right, I just found a spotted salamander up here in this patch of woods. It's like kind of mixed heavy oak woodland. I'm um, just under this log on this hillside. It's a very good indicator that there's got to be a vernal wetland in the area, but I haven't seen any evidence of one nearby. So definitely something to look out for. These logs are too good. There should be a salamander under one of these. Not just this grub and a roach. That's the best part of Flip that. everything. Right. Hold on. Don't yell at me. So commanding. You did a bad job. There's no sound in You You Do picked better. the log. Nope. You're not good at this nope. game. Do better. It's terrible at this. this. This is not the one. This is this is where all the chipmunks hide their... their... Oh, it is the one. Never mind. I lied. I found it. Where you find it? It's a zigzag. No, it's not. I know. It's a red back. <laughs> you want to say it? To lead back. Yeah, no, stop. No more. No sides. Brown. The nose looks real short. Yeah, I think this might be a little bear. Well, we're out here herping, and this is, uh, this is really unusual. I'm almost certain this is a black bear skull right here. It's missing its upper canines, but it still has its lower ones. That's really cool. I, I, I didn't expect to see this. That's wild. I think we're gonna take this one home. This is actually, this is actually on the new Kirby property. So that's pretty wild. locations real quick and we walked down here to the Teleco River. I just looked straight down in the water and we found a black belly salamander. So we're off to a great start here at our new location and we're going to see what else we can find while we explore this area. We're starting our journey on our only day here to go through the forest after we got off the property and wouldn't you know it right on our start we got a black chin red salamander and this Teleco plain salamander. Yeah, these guys are really cool. We're actually just outside of the Slimy Salamander Complex's range. And we're over here on the slopes of the Unicoi Mountains where the Teleco Plain Salamander naturally occurs. And along with that, we've got this really awesome red here. So we absolutely love getting out. It, it, it's the middle of December here in Tennessee. Uh, conditions are really great still for finding herps. So we're going to keep on searching and hopefully we can find some more cool animals today. A little one. These ones get huge. Looks like a seal. So we're out checking seeps, and uh, we just found a seal salamander and a Blue Ridge two line. These guys are really cool. They have these little. I don't know what they're called. See your eye. Steely bobs. <laughs> they're usually shown off when they're breeding. <laughs> what are they called? I just C realized. C I, or, or, uh, I, I always call them dealy bobs. I don't know right. what they're fucking That's called. Fine. Call them whatever you want. So we're right here. We were just checking some of these seeps, and I found a seal salamander, which I missed, but I also got this Blue Ridge 2 line. These guys are pretty jumpy, but they have these two little dangly things that hang off. <laughs> <laughs> what are they called again, Michael? I believe it's pronounced Cirai. Are right, you ready? Yeah. All right. So we're out here checking these seeps, and I just found a seal salamander, which I missed, but I also found this Blue Ridge 2 line. These guys are really jumpy, so I'm hoping he won't jump, 
But if you can get in here and check and see his face, they got these two little dangly things that hang off their jaw. I can't remember what they're called. Michael, what are they called again? Sirai. He, Michael says Sirai, so I'm going to trust him, but that sounds right. But if you want to get in here and check out the front of his face, he's really cool looking. They're a cute little salamander, but I don't want to keep him out of the water too long. They are a stream salamander, so I'm going to go ahead and let him go. So we're walking up this trail here, and as you can see, there is a mud puddle right in the middle of the trail. So of course we had to stop and flip these rocks to see what we could find. Michael did flip a little tiny seal salamander that got away, and Matt actually flipped this in my hand, what's called a seepage salamander. And I, he says I've seen this before, but I'm pretty sure this is a new species for me. It is a tiny, tiny little salamander. So you're going to have to get in close, and they actually don't get much bigger than this. They're also very jumpy. Check out the way he moves his tail. Did you see that? <gasps> Don't want to lose him. Oh, let's see if he can do that again. Did you see that? He did the predator eat my tail trick. Go back to your home. Go ahead. Here we go. Bye, friend. I got one right here on the rock face. Another dusty. Slightly better looking. There you go. Right there. A lot of varieties of dusky salamanders on here. So I'm really excited for my parents that they moved out here in this beautiful state of Tennessee out on the Teleco Plains. Now this is the first trip that we have had a chance to come out here and spend a little time. We had some extra time so obviously we went out and did some herping. We found a new species of salamander to us which was the Teleco Plains salamander. That was really cool. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing that. There's going to be a lot new content for us. New videos coming out hopefully from the state of Tennessee. So if you haven't subscribed yet make sure you subscribe because it's it's going to be a blast filming these for you guys. Mm -hmm.